Today I'm going to show you guys how to eliminate using a preform corner on an inside shower corner detail. We're only going to be using sheet membrane and we're not going to cut the sheet membrane in the corners. Alright, so how we're going to accomplish this is we're going to start on the back wall of our shower. Before we install the wall board itself, we're going to make a few notches. What we're going to do to the right and the left, if we have one continuous piece across the back of the shower wall, we're going to measure in one half of an inch and then come up six inches. And then we're going to cut this half inch by six inch little notch out. So this is what we're looking for. Half inch wide, approximately six inches tall. The six inches can vary depending on the size of your shower and how thick your shower floor is going to be. Now that we have our back piece installed, we're going to go to the sidewall pieces and show you what we have to do there. Now on the sidewall pieces, we're going to measure over approximately 3 sixteenths. And then once again, we're going to match our back wall piece at 6 inches. And we're going to take our knife and we're going to score in about a sixteenth. And then we're going to follow that score line that we made at a 45 and cut up. So on our side walls, we need approximately 3 sixteenths in, 6 inches up, cut at a 45. So here's what we want our inside corners to look like once we're done cutting our wall board. We have about a 3 sixteenths gap here. And then you remember on this back wall piece, we have a half inch pocket back there. So after this step is complete, you have all your wall board installed. We're going to want to either install the preformed shower tray or mud your shower floor. For this video, I'm just using the Schluter shower tray. So I have this installed. And now we're going to move on to the membrane itself and this corner detail here. So what I like to do is use one piece on the shower floor. Now the ones that work the best are the six foot seven rolls. Is almost any size of shower, you can get one piece on the shower floor. And I also like to go up the wall approximately four inches. You can go more, but for me, four inches is the minimum. Uh, I feel that it's a better seam than the two inches minimum that they require on most sheet membranes. So what we're going to do we're going to come over here and mark four inches, four inches, and then we're going to put just a slight crease in the membrane itself. That's just going to help us remember where everything goes. All right, now on all of our inside corners, before we put down any thin set, we're going to, since we know we're going up the walls four inches, we're going to come over here and measure four inches at a 45. 
and then we're going to cut the membrane right there out of 45. Now we're ready for some thin set in this corner. So I'm going to start on the floor itself and then we're going to work the wall. we want this excess fabric here hanging out like this now this is this is where the magic happens what we're going to do is we're going to take this excess fabric here and we're going to push it into that little pocket that we made so the way we're going to do that is just we're going to start with our margin trowel and then gently start pushing it in there Once we get it started, we're going to take the remaining fabric and double it up and just keep working it into the corner. It takes a little bit of practice, but as you can see, that just slipped right in there. Now what we've created here is we have a inside corner that's not cut. We have continuous membrane, four inches up. And at this point, you could, if you wanted, you could put some curdy fix over that there or even put curdy fix, fix in the pocket before you push the membrane in if you felt it necessary. So then the final step of our corner detail is going to be installing the curdy band or whatever fabric you're using for your corner detail over top. There it is, that's our finished inside corner. And as you can see, we added minimal buildup versus using a preformed corner where we would end up with an additional layer and still have a cut in this corner with the membrane. So with this detail, remember this is one continuous piece all the way around, four inches up. And then I like to start low like you would on a roof and then put the corner detail, the corner piece of fabric over top of that. And then also, you want to take it a step further. A lot of times this whole corner here, not that it's needed, but I will take Ardex 8 plus 9 and go over the two coats over the whole corner. Now this technique will work and we can use it even if this is cement board. So the way that would work is we would install our cement board. 
we would notch it the same way. We would install our floor membrane. And then to finalize it all, we would come in and install, I like to use once again the six foot seven roll and go all the way around the shower in one piece. And then once again, we're gonna seal up that corner and then add no additional build out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this corner out. And that's it. And you could, if you wanted to, you could spread thin set, a little bit of thin set in here before you tuck it in if you wanted. Or like I said, you could do a bead of curdy fix up the corner and then one up the corner as well once it's tucked in. So that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and like the technique that I've come up with. It's taken me uh, a long time of just thinking about it, how to do an inside corner without cutting it. Um, it it's because we all know everybody hates the preformed corners because they add so much extra build out. And I feel like this is a very good alternative. And like I said, you can use it on foam boards, you can use it on cement board, you can use it on um, den shield type materials, it doesn't matter because we're just gonna use the same technique in the corner and then uh, finish off our corner waterproofing properly. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment below, consider subscribing for more videos related to tile.